Hey guys, what's happening? It's Jim. Thanks for coming back. I appreciate it. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. And today we're going to talk about Topaz Studio. And I talked about that a couple of videos ago. And if you haven't seen it yet, I'll put it... I can never remember. What the hell? It's like backwards, I think. So I think it's that corner, but I don't really know. Anyway, one of them there corners is going to get a link to my... Uh, it's called Getting Started with Topaz Studio. It's a video I did recently. Uh, Topaz Studio, it's not new. It's been around about a year, but I talked um, about how I've been using that some in that video. And basically, it's new to me, and that's why I'm talking about it now. And uh, what I like about it is that there's a whole bunch of adjustments. There's 10 free filters, and then there's, uh, I think, 24 pro adjustments. And you can buy them individually, or you can buy them sort of as a combo pack. Um, so what I wanted to talk about is specifically the texture effects within Topaz Studio. So texture effects was actually a standalone uh, let me rephrase that, a plugin app made by Topaz. And now it's sold as texture effects in studio. And so as I mentioned in that video before, they have a number of different um, uh, apps that they're converting over to studio. And it's kind of their frame, for lack of a better word. It's their um, center. And from there, you can get to the effects that you could achieve in a lot of their other apps. Currently, there's six apps in studio. There'll be more over time, I'm sure. Specifically, I want to talk about texture effects because, frankly, it's just really cool. Now, I'll, I'll admit that when I first started photography, I didn't really care about textures. Um, I didn't like them. I, you know, people would show me photos with textures, and I was like, "Like, why'd you ruin a perfectly good photo?" Um, but I wasn't into the art as um, of it as much as I am now. And now I'm really into textures. I like them a lot. And in fact. I spent a year or so out there collecting textures so I could build a texture pack, which I sell in my blog for 10 bucks, and it's 10 textures, and it took me a year to sort of accumulate these and get them to, uh, to be what I really wanted them to be. I wanted it to be something that I thought was cool and valuable. Um, and if you go to all these other, there's tons of websites, people that sell texture packs. I mean, you can just Google, you know, texture packs, blah, 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 and you can find it on, you know, pretty much pick any photographer that you follow and their blog, they probably have a texture pack that they sell. A lot of these packs sell for 20 bucks or 30 bucks. Uh, anyway, what I'm getting to is, in my opinion, you don't really need all those. Uh, you don't even need mine. If you bought it, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. But I, you're better off, honestly, buying texture effects in studio. Um, it's $50, so it's more money. But um, you get a whole lot more for your money and you get the creative flexibility that you don't have with just buying a texture pack. So Studio itself is a free download. The software is free with 10 filters. The other filters you have to buy, if you buy Topaz Studio, it's 50 bucks, but you get a whole lot of stuff. Let me show you the website, one second. Okay, so here we are on the Topaz Labs website. It's 50 bucks, 49.97, but what it includes, as it says here, it it com uh. It includes, I'm starting over here, it includes texture, edge exposure, and quad tone pro adjustments. Each of those sell for 20 or 30 or 40 bucks or whatever each. So for 50 bucks, you're getting three of the pro adjustments. But the cool thing about the texture adjustment alone is that you're getting a massive amount of textures. Um, and I saw somewhere on their website, it's something like 240 textures. They have a bunch. So let me just show you the web, uh, excuse me, let me just show you the, the, uh, the app in studio. So. Let's take a look at that. And here we go. This is a Topaz Studio. So there's a number of different um, uh, products, if you will, in Studio. And down the left-hand side, you can get to them. I'm focusing on texture effects today. Now, I'm going to come back, and I'm probably going to talk about impression and simplify and things like that because I love them. I've used them for years. And in fact, I've gotten to where um, whenever I want to do artsy kind of things, I just go to Topaz Studio because of impression and simplify and texture effects. It's really cool. So what you'll notice is if you click on this and you open it up, you've got all these different categories and these are all presets. And the cool thing about the free app is regardless of what the preset is made up of, in other words, even if the preset is made up of pro adjustments that you would have to purchase, you can get the preset for free in the free download with Topaz Studio. So they give you the preset for free the downside is you can't adjust it. So you could go through here, and I'm kind of into this gritty grunge category. You can go through here and just find something cool like this bristling energy. I love, I mean, look at that. That's really cool, I think. Um, and you can get that preset for free, and there you go. It's on your photo, and you didn't pay for anything, right? Now, if you want to go edit it, you want to do some custom masking, 
Um, well, actually, the masking is included. Masking is com a component of Topaz Studio, and that's free. Um, but if you want to do customization to the preset, which is going to be over here, here are all the different filters that make up this preset. So if you buy texture effects, you have what you well, you have the three pro adjustments, um, but you have the ability to adjust those. So this is going to start getting a little confusing, and admittedly, it is kind of confusing. But regardless, the presets are all free, and you can edit them to your heart's content. So there's some really cool stuff, right? Let me show you the original, and there's the uh, the adjustment. Now, the other cool thing is, if you want to do some masking, you can just click on the mask menu, and you can say, hey, I want to go into brush, and you can just come in here, and you can say, I'm going to erase this from the door, and I'm just doing this really quick and sloppy, and I just erase the effect. You can see that, right? You can see that. Um, Remember, white reveals and black conceals. So white is revealing the effect, which is this preset, and black is concealing it. So I just concealed it from the door, right? Uh, it might be better off to fit this to frame. Um, and then I could finish kind of cleaning that up and that sort of thing. So again, a little bit sloppy, but there we go. I just applied a preset that was a textured preset, and I just uh, erased it from the door because I like the door to be untextured because the door is interesting and I don't want the texture uh, messing with it. The other cool thing is you can change the mask tra transparency and then let's say I like the texture but not so much on the blue because the blue is pretty cool then I can just come in here and I'm basically just doing a lower opacity mask on the blue which is a slight reduction in the texture. The texture is still there. You can tell it's gray versus black which means it's kind of showing through but not all the way. So again you can just start to customize this stuff and do some really interesting and cool things. Let me show you a few more. I'm gonna just reset that to zero. And let me go back over here. Um, I thought this one was pretty cool. City, uh, city soot. I like this color blast grit. In fact, I'm just gonna close that. And I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. Whoa, um, like that. And again, remember, you can customize these. You can also, by the way, change the opacity. You can come over here and you can say, well, I like color blast grit, but it's a little too much, Jim. So I'm gonna take it down to 54%. Looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Go back to the normal screen. There it is at 54 opacity. So you can just reduce those things. I love this dilapidated skies. Again, pretty intense. So just come over here and say, hey, too intense for me. I'm going to take it down. If you don't like it on the door or on the blue, mask it out. It's super easy, super simple, and super powerful. Uh, distressed contrast, right? Distressed grunge. I mean, just kind of look at the stuff that you can come up with here. And to be clear, these presets are all included. If you buy the app for 50 bucks, then you get those three pro adjustments, which was edge exposure, texture, and quad tone, I believe. Let's go back to the website and make sure I'm not lying to you. Texture, edge exposure, and quad tone. So you're basically picking up in the pro adjustments, which are all these below this line. These free ones are the ones at the top. And then you got a line, and then these are all the pro adjustments that you have to pay for. You'll, you'll get texture, you'll get edge exposure, and you'll get quad tone. Super powerful stuff. But even if you don't get it, the preset's free, and there it is. And you can just take the preset and say, hey, I love Distress Grunge, a little too much. Hey, Jim, I want to do some custom masking. Okay, you just go down here and get your mask, click on it, and go to town. Super powerful, super easy. You can see why I'm having a lot of fun with this. And, you know, if you watch my videos, you already know that I love Luminar. And I've done textures in Luminar for, you know, the two years and, and change that Luminar's been out. But I got to be honest, you got a lot of stuff in here. And by the way, let me just show you the textures filter. So let me just reset all this. And let me just close the preset. And there's a billion of them, right? So literally, remember, I'm only in the category of gritty grunt. So if I get rid of that and I go back here, there's a landscape category. Uh, boom, there's a bunch of other stuff. There's a travel category. Boom, there's a bunch of other stuff. So you could sit here all day and just play with textures, which is kind of fun, to be honest. Um, but I'm going to close the preset window, get rid of that, and I'm going to go over here, and I've reset. So I'm back to my base photo. Hit the space bar to show the original. No difference. That's because I'm back at the original photo. So click on adjustments. Go just to texture. Here we go. So this is the texture filter within the texture filter. So if you buy texture effects, remember I showed you for $49.97 or whatever, let's call it 50 bucks, you get this pro adjustment texture. So within that, look at all these uh, textures that you get. There's light leaks, there's dust marks, there's scratches, 
there's sun flares, there's, I mean, my God, there's so much stuff. If you go to category, look at it. There's a million of them, right? So you could just kind of go through here, wood and nature, maybe you like these, and, and these, that doesn't look good at all in this photo, and that wasn't the point, but you have all these different things. Um, I like these two little owls. It's a company that makes textures, and they partnered with them, and they've got, excuse me, all these beautiful pastel looking sort of texture. I mean, look at this stuff, it's gorgeous. So you could go create these textures yourself. If you're that industrious and interested and artistic, then go for it, by all means, do it. Um, and in fact, I've looked at several websites over the years and thought about downloading these, and then I'm like, you know, I, I like to hack stuff a little bit, and I'm like, man, I can just get a piece of paper and I could watercolor some stuff and then take a photo of it and make a texture, and you know what? I never did it because I'm way too lazy and that's way too much work. Plus, guess what? You gotta buy paper, you gotta buy paint, you gotta buy paint brushes. I don't really care. I don't wanna do all that. I just wanna have the textures. Now I got them because I don't have to go buy a texture pack for 30 or 40 bucks. For 50 bucks, I get texture effects, which includes these 240 textures, including these two little owls, all these beautiful pastels. So just think of all the creative stuff you can do. Uh, there's another cool one, Meredith Images, uh, that they partnered with, and, and I'm thinking that's a pro photographer. I apologize, I don't know who it is, so no disrespect to whomever it may be, but you can click on that. You can take the opacity down and just make that adjustment and say, well, I like it, but I don't like it 100%. And then same thing, you can just click on the mask, which is up here, and you can go to town and do the same thing I did earlier, right? Just paint that adjustment, you know, blah, 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 and just take it out of the door. I'm not messing with all that, so I'm gonna hit reset. But that's how it works, um, whoops. Um, you can also add your own textures, right? So I click on my textures, and I've added some textures that I captured that are part of my uh, texture pack that I sell on my blog, right? Um, there you go, you can click on that, you can click on that, and you can even add in other skies. It's an easy way just to go in there, stick your own skies in there, and then mask in a new sky to a fo photo. The opportunity for creativity is just insane. And on top, and by the way, I'm gonna go back to this other one. I'll go to Meredith Images. I like this rusty, grungy stuff because it's kind of right up my alley. And then you come down here and in this filter, you can say, I'm gonna change the contrast. I'm gonna bump up the brightness. I'm gonna move the detail, give it a little more saturation, a little more color strength. Uh, maybe actually, I'm gonna decrease the brightness. Um, but it's too, too intense, so I'm gonna take the opacity down a little bit more blah, blah, blah. The point is you have tons of creative options at your fingertips and buying the Texture Effects in Studio app for 50 bucks gives you this filter plus two more. Now you could just buy that filter, let me show you. If you go to Adjustments and you go to Pro Adjustments and Texture, you can buy that in Studio and just get that uh, one Pro filter. But that one is something, boy, this is really moving slow, sorry. Um, you can get that for $40. For 40 bucks, you get that. For 50 bucks, you get two more pro adjustments. I'd personally just get the whole texture effects thing for 50. Um, and here's the deal, as I mentioned to you before, um, use my name, Jim Nix, that's a coupon code, and you'll save 15%. Um, now, that's a, a referral fee or whatever to me. I make a couple of bucks if you do that. That helps me keep creating these things. Uh, and bringing you all this fun training. Well, I hope it's fun. It's fun for me. I hope you enjoy it as much as I do. Um, so keep that in mind. Coupon code Jim Nix saves 15%. So your $50 takes 15 times five. See, that's 750, I think. So your 50 became 4250. So you're saving some bucks uh, and you're helping me out. Your cost is the same either way. Anyway, that's how it works. I love this stuff. There's so many creative things you can do. Uh, and, and I'm barely scratching the surface, right? There's hazy. There's all these frames that you can kind of stick on uh, on your photo. Um, let's see, there's nature, there's paper and textile. I mean, look at this stuff. You start getting sort of double exposures. Um, it's really cool. It's interesting, it's fun, but most of all, it's creative. Um, and it makes me really curious. And I think curiosity is a really big deal. So I get in there and I play around and I start jacking with stuff. And I come up with really interesting different things that I probably would not have come up with on my own. And partly because I don't own all these textures. And if I went and accumulated 240 textures by buying them off other people's websites, that'd be hundreds of dollars of expense to me. If I went out and tried to capture all these textures, that would be several years of work. Hey, for 50 bucks, you get all this stuff and more. It's worth it, I think. I love it, I'm having fun with it. 
I hope you're having fun with it. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll come back with more videos, but this is about texture effects in Topaz Studio. I'm having fun. I'll come back for more. As I said, if you have any questions, let me know. Hit subscribe. Just, you know, smash that subscribe button. Share with your friends. Share with, uh, share, share with everybody. That'd be helpful. Um, I'm playing. Uh, like the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I appreciate it, my friends. Take care. Have fun. See you soon, and adios.